Friends, we live in what's fundamentally a moral universe. Our decisions about what to do or refrain from doing and our judgments about what others do or neglect to do are framed primarily by notions of right or wrong, not by notions of what's physically possible. The physical universe is merely the stage upon which moral agents act. Saints of God at Westboro Baptist Church invite you to take a moment to consider a very serious moral topic, one that affects you both in your brief life on this earth and in eternity. Which men are worthy of your honor? Who represents your true interests, your moral interests, both now and in eternity? We challenge you to take a serious look at who you honor and to ask yourselves whether you're acting against your own moral interests. You bestow honor upon the likes of Billy Graham, Joel Osteen, and Rick Warren, as well as the moral lepers you claim as your own local pastors. Every one of them, without exception, teach what they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Fred Phelps has taken your false preachers to task for lying to you about what the Bible says, standing on the mean streets of this nation for over 20 years at his own expense and at great peril. So far from dismissing Fred Phelps as a wingnut or a cult leader, you ought to demand that your Bible-dumb pastor invite him to preach at your church, and you ought to listen to him very carefully. You bestow honor upon the likes of Anderson Cooper and Piers Morgan, two workers of iniquity who laud the proud sin of homosexuality and who lambaste on air anyone who merely suggests that there's anything immoral about the sin of sodomy. Fred Phelps says what the Bible says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. So far from demonizing, marginalizing, and vilifying Fred Phelps, CNN ought to give him his own show, nightly, in prime time. Yes. If journalism has anything to do with the truth, well, Fred Phelps is the only one who's telling any truth in the moral realm. You bestow honor upon Barack Obama, the leader of the free world. He called himself a Christian to bilk you out of your vote, yet Barack Obama says that Romans 1, arguably the greatest, most thorough theological treatise ever penned by the Holy Ghost, and one of dozens of places in Scripture that calls homosexuality a sin, he calls it an obscure passage of Scripture. Obama says that he'll be the fiercest of advocates for homosexuality. Hello. And Obama calls babies punishment, saying that if his daughter made a mistake, he wouldn't want her to be punished with a baby. Make any of that fit with the Bible. It's impossible. Yet you continue to honor that evil man. So far from passing laws to try to stop the humble street preaching of Fred Phelps, Barack Obama ought to install Fred Phelps in his cabinet, asking his counsel at every turn, or nominate him to sit on the United States Supreme Court. Yes. In fact... If you foolish Americas weren't suffering from a severe case of rectal cranial disorder, you would, by a landslide write-in campaign, elect Fred Phelps to be your president. You bestow honor upon the power brokers, actors, and directors in Hollywood. Their talent and craftsmanship and storytelling, reenacting important historical events, and getting to the core of important matters of heart and mind is certainly praiseworthy. But they use that God-given skill to romanticize sin and encourage their fellow man to rebel against the standards of God. So far from demonizing and vilifying Fred Phelps, the most talented Hollywood actors and directors ought to make a film that chronicles his life and times, lionizing him as both a staunch protector of civil rights and a humble, zealous preacher of Bible truth to a nation and generation awash in sin. Brad Pitt, Jake Gyllenhaal, Danny DeVito, Ollie Stone, George Clooney, we're calling you out. The fact is that you honor those who tell you the lies you like to hear that God loves everyone, that America is a great nation, that everything is going to be okay. Friends, everything is not going to be okay. For God's sake, listen to Phelps. You're all literally swimming in a sea of lies. Every man who you honor is lying to you. Your preachers, leaders, and media are breaking your moral compasses. Fred Phelps is and has been telling you the truth. Despite the shroud of vilification that media feeds you, at the direction of His Majesty the Devil, every person in this evil nation and world ought to say, Thank God for Fred Phelps. Amen. For more good Bible preaching, go to GodHatesFags.com. 
find out why your nation is doomed, go to GodHatesTheWorld.com. For news, parodies, and documentaries about our doctrine, go to SignMovies.com. For news on the pedophile rape machine called Catholicism, go to PriestsRapeBoys.com. For more on the pure heresy and idolatry called Islam, go to GodHatesIslam.com. To see the mask peeled off the fag juggernaut, go to GodHatesTheMedia.com. And for WBC blogs, go to blogs.sparenot.com.